Hi, and welcome to the online workshop series, There's an App for That, presented by the Academic Resource Center at Georgetown University. Each workshop will highlight a free app that can be used to set you up for academic success. For the first part of the series, we will highlight the Google Calendar app. Let's start with the basics. As a Georgetown University student, you have access to a Google Calendar through your Georgetown email account. Your Google Calendar can be accessed by clicking on the Google Apps menu icon located in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Maintaining a calendar is a vital aspect of your academic success. Not only does it allow you to track your goals, but also helps you maintain a school-life balance. In this workshop series, you will learn how to prioritize your task, schedule commitments and events, and maximize your time. Before we start adding to our calendar, it's important to know how to create an event. As you are looking at your Google Calendar, you will notice a Create button highlighted in red at the top left-hand corner of your screen. Click the Create button to add an event to your calendar. On this screen, you will notice that you have an option to add event details such as the title of the event, the time and date it takes place, location, a description of the event, and an option to add attachments. It's also important to note that if you have multiple calendars, choose the calendar where you want to add the event from the calendar drop-down menu. Other features to be aware of include the option to create a reoccurring event by clicking the repeat checkbox located near the time and date of the event. Additionally, you can invite guests to the event by simply typing in their name or email addresses in the box titled Add located on the right-hand side of the screen. When you are done adding all the details of the event, make sure to hit the save at the top of the screen. Now that you're ready to put your Google Calendar to use, let's start by prioritizing your academic commitments. These should include your class times for the semester, deadlines such as paper and project due dates, quizzes, and exams. By prioritizing your academic commitments, you will achieve your semester goals. You will notice on the sample calendar, class times are coded in blue and academic deadlines are coded in red. Color coding can be useful to highlight important deadlines so you stay on track throughout the semester. After prioritizing your academic commitments, it's now time to plug in campus resources and events into your Google Calendar. The purpose of adding in these campus resources is to support you in achieving your academic success. Examples include scheduling time to visit your professors during their office hours, meeting with your academic advisors and deans, joining a study group with your peers, and utilizing tutoring services. Don't forget to make use of the Academic Resource Center's study skill workshops that are held throughout the semester. For main campuses schedule, please visit academicsupport.georgetown.edu. For the School of Continuing Study students, visit ses.georgetown.edu and click on the Student Resources tab. Your Google Calendar should also be used as a tool to plan out your job, internship, and volunteer commitments. For most of us, we are balancing more than just school. By combining your work and school schedule into one calendar, you will be able to manage and prioritize your time more effectively. Since oftentimes you may find yourself rushing from one commitment to another, be sure to account for commuting time. Per the sample calendar, you can see that we have blocked out a commuting time on Tuesday, October 18th in order to arrive at Martha's table for your volunteer hours promptly at 11 a.m. An important part of achieving academic success is accounting for the time you will spend studying throughout the week. The general rule of thumb is to dedicate two hours of studying for every one hour of class time. Now this may be adjusted depending on the requirements of the course and your comfort level with the material. Also, keep in mind that the time you dedicate to studying should be just that, studying, and does not include preparation and study breaks. It's important to account for study time in your Google Calendar in order to establish good study habits. Part of having good study habits includes the use of breaks. Taking breaks has been found to improve your attention span while studying. Strive for 15-minute breaks to help you reset and refocus on the subject you are studying. 
You can maximize your time during the week by using breaks in between classes to study. Another good habit to incorporate into your routine is to review notes immediately after a class to help ensure retention and pinpoint any areas of challenge or confusion. In this sample calendar, we have coded study time as pink to make sure we are following the two to one rule. Two hours of studying for every one hour of class time. In order to maintain a balanced schedule, plan out some time to have some fun. Part of the benefit of being a student at Georgetown is the multitude of events, organizations, clubs, sports, and traditions that are available on campus. In the sample calendar, we have coded these opportunities as green. Always remember that balance is a major key to success and go Hoyas! In closing, here are some resources for you to check out. If you need additional support with your Google Calendar, visit support.google.com slash calendar. I encourage you to attend the Academic Resource Center's Study Skills Workshops that are hosted throughout the semester. The schedule can be found at academicsupport.georgetown.edu slash academic slash academic dash skills dash workshop. We encourage you to contact the Academic Resource Center for any questions regarding this workshop or any of our other workshops and for additional study skills support. If you are a student on main campus, you can email arc at georgetown.edu. If you are a student at the School of Continuing Studies, please contact arc-ses at georgetown.edu.